Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at solving algebraic uh, fractional equations where we are using common denominators. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the type of question that, we're, that I'm looking at in this scenario is something like this. So what we'll do is we'll start working around it. So we have 3x over 7 plus x over 2 equals 2. Now remember what I talked about in the previous um, videos, that you can't actually cross multiply if you have two fractions uh, on the left hand side. You have got to have one fraction equals another fraction or a number to cross multiply. So what you need to do is convert the left hand side as, well convert it so that it's one fraction. And the way we can do this is we got to have common factors, oh, sorry, common denominators uh, for the two fractions here. Now the two numbers you're working with is 7 and 2. And your lowest common multiple for 7 and 2 is going to be 14. So that means I need to multiply 3x over 7 by 2. So 7 times 2 is 14. That means the numerator has also got to be multiplied by 2. Likewise, on this side, I would have to multiply 2 by 7 and the numerator by 7 so that I have the same denominator. Now, 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times 7 is 14. Plus, 7 times x is 7x. And 7 times 2 is 14 and all this is equal to 2. From here, because they have the common denominators, I could combine these two terms as 6x plus 7x over 14 equals 2. So simplifying this, I'm going to get 13x over 14 equals 2 and 13x equals 14 times 2, which means 13x is 28 and x is equal to 28 over 13. Now remember that uh, method that I showed you guys earlier before where we multiplied um, the, the number on the denominator with all the terms? Well, in this case, you can do something very similar. So you could actually have 3x over 7 plus x over 2 equals 2. So the first number I want to get rid of is the 7. So I'm going to multiply all the terms by 7. And what that means is I'm going to end up with an equation like this where I've got 3x plus 7x over 2 equals 14. Now I need to get rid of the 2. So I multiply all these all the terms by 2. And what you'll notice is now the 2 disappears. And I've got 3x times 2, which is 6x plus 7x equals 14 times 2, which is 28. Simplifying this, I get 13x equals 28, and x is equal to 28 over 13. And what you'll notice, same answer. All right, two different ways of doing this, and again, same kind of answer coming through. All right, one more example. All right, guys, in this question, we're going to be looking at this particular example. And as usual, we're going to be covering um, two different ways of how to solve this. So the first one, I'm going to be looking at um, common denominators. So I have 2x over 5 minus x minus 2 over 7 equals 1. Now, I know that between 7 and 5, the lowest common multiple is going to be 35. So therefore, the first... Uh, fraction I've got to multiply the denominator by 7 and the numerator by 7 and for the second fraction I've got to multiply the denominator by 5 and the numerator by 5 which means I will end up with 14x because 7 times 2x is 14x over 35 minus now this is the part remember I talked to you guys about earlier you got to be careful about that 5 um, uh, putting that negative um, in outside the bracket, otherwise you'll forget to multiply it, which is also over 35 equals 1. Now, before I actually expand this bracket out, what I would recommend you guys to do is to write it like this. Because both the denominators are the same, we can write 14x minus 5, x minus 2, and the whole thing over 35 equals 1. So rearranging this, or getting rid of the 35 to the uh, right-hand side, you're going to get 14x minus 5x minus 2 equals 1 times 35, or I could just leave it as just 35. 
So when I expand the brackets, now I'm going to get 14x minus 5x plus 10 equals 35. And simplifying this, I'm going to get 9x plus 10 equals 35 and 9x equals 35 minus 10. Just going to continue running out of space here. 9x is equal to 25, therefore x is equal to 25 over 9. All right, that's one way of doing it. The other method where I multiply the, uh, the numbers, uh, multiply the denominators by their respective numbers, I'm going to show you the second method. So this is the one where I multiply this fraction by 5, this one by 5, and this number by 5. And what I will notice is the two 5s are cancelling out each other, which leaves me with 2x minus 5 times x minus 2 over 7 equals 5. Now I multiply everything by 7 because I want to get rid of this denominator 7. And what I should have is 14x minus 5x minus 2 because my two 7s are disappearing. And 5 times 7 is 35. And what you'll notice is pretty much I'm ending up with the same equation that I have on this on the left hand side of the board here. So pretty much the same equation, which means probably the answer is going to come out to be as the same because I've got 9x plus 10 equals 35. 9x is equal to 35, take away 10. So I've got 9x equals 25 and x is equal to 25 over 9. As you can see, both ways, same answer. All right, uh, next example and last example looking at this series of questions. What about when x is in the denominator? All right. So once again, guys, you can pretty much do both uh, methods that I've actually showed you before. I will do the first method. So where I'm finding the common denominator between them, 3 over x equals 2. Now, between 3 and x, the lowest common multiple is going to be 3x. So to do that, what I will do is I will multiply this. Uh, equal, uh, fraction by x and x so that my denominator is 3x while the second fraction I'm going to multiply the denominator by 3 and the numerator by 3 so that I'm looking at a denominator of 3x so when I do this x times 1 is x divided by 3x minus 3 times 3 is 9 divided by 3x and that's equal to 2 because they have common denominators, I can write x minus 9 over 3x equals 2. And because 3x is in the denominator, I can move it to the other side and it'll become multiplied. So I'm left over with x minus 9 equals 6x. So collecting all my like terms, I will have minus 9 equals 6x minus x. I mean, remember, I could do it either way. So negative 9 equals 5x and then x is equal to negative 9 over 5. That is what my solution for x is. Now, if I was to do it the other method where I was multiplying uh, the denominators with those fractions, then the first thing I want to do is I would multiply by 3 to get rid of this denominator, multiply by 3 here, and also multiply by 3. So first, first off, these two things disappear leaving me with just 1 minus 3 times 3 is 9 over x equals 6. Now, because I have x as a denominator, I multiply everything by x, multiply by x, multiply by x. So x times 1 is x, but however, the x cancels out each other, and I'm left with x minus 9 equals 6x. And as you can see, this is the same equation that was on the on the other way of doing it as well. So rearranging things here, you're going to pretty much get the same answer because 6x take away x is 5x. You got negative 9, therefore x is equal to negative 9 over 5. Same two answers. All right, guys, that's it for this session. Any questions, pop it in the comments and um, I'll get back to you. Apart from that, thank you for watching this video.